Hi, I'm Duncan. Like you, I'm a car owner. And like you, I find myself looking at the vast array of options I've got available for my next car. For example, electric and hybrid vehicles have moved to the front of my mind, given what we know about emissions and, of course, the environment. However, I'm also conscious that these vehicles have their pros and cons. At Suzuki, we believe there should be no compromise. Our focus is on providing vehicles that you want at an affordable price, as well as being economical to run. Now, it's for this reason that every Suzuki car model available today includes hybrid technology. And here's why. Now, I don't want to get all technical. Instead, I'd like to talk in real terms. So for this one, I'm taking the lab coat off. Beautiful. There we go. That's a lot better. So where do we begin? Well, let's actually start with coats, shall we? Have you noticed? It's amazing just how many coats you can have. What do you wear if it's raining? Well, a simple waterproof. But if it's spring or autumn, you probably want a thicker coat that's going to keep you a little bit warmer. And then on those winter mornings when you can see your own breath, you're going to want a really nice thick jacket like this one to keep you really, really warm. When it comes to hybrid systems, here at Suzuki, we take exactly the same approach. The type of hybrid system required depends on the size and the weight of the vehicle, along with its usage, of course. However, where we deviate from coats is that every Suzuki has a hybrid system. So no matter which model you choose, from the compact yet capable Ignis to the larger yet dynamic Across, you get the best mixture of economy and driving performance. Take the smallest models in our range. They need to be practical, even spacious on the inside, yet small on the outside to be effective in their roles. I suppose much like a TARDIS, just without the, uh, the Daleks nearby, I hope. To keep these cars nimble to drive, they need to be light yet strong. Their performance must be brisk yet economical. To this end, we need to ensure the hybrid system we install is also small and light, easily placed within the car and doesn't detract from the space or the driving experience. We therefore fit the vehicle with a powerful and efficient small capacity petrol engine and combine this with a small electric motor, what we term as a mild hybrid. The electric motor supports the petrol engine. It assists it when under strain, so that could be under hard acceleration or when you're driving up a hill. This actually reduces the power needed from the engine and therefore provides you with benefits of using less fuel, which of course is going to save you money, and reducing emissions in comparison to a regular petrol vehicle, helping us to reduce our impact on the planet. When cruising, the electric motor, it just leaves it to the petrol engine to drive the vehicle. Then on deceleration, the system recovers energy through the rotating wheels and uses it to recharge the batteries. So that means no plugging in, just use it as a normal petrol car, but one that delivers over 55 miles per gallon. Oh, and did I mention you can choose these vehicles in both manual and automatic form? What's more, the hybrid system is a standard feature. You could say this is our basic waterproof. Another benefit of having a mild hybrid system is that it's very efficient with manual gearboxes, even in our mid-sized vehicles. Our automatic mid-range vehicles get the benefit of a full hybrid system. Similar in principle to the mild hybrid system, but the full hybrid uses larger batteries and a bigger motor so that it can also drive on pure electric for short distances. It can power you when you're accelerating steadily from standstill, up to a moderate speed, and indeed when you're cruising. In addition, you still get all of the benefits that I mentioned with the mild hybrid system. So using less fuel, generating fewer emissions, but you get all the specification that you'd expect with a Suzuki, and of course at an affordable price. So I guess um, this is the autumn jacket. Now, it's kind of getting a bit warm in here, guys. Okay, we've covered mild hybrid, full hybrid, and now we get to the system that we use on our largest vehicles, the plug-in hybrid system. What? Where this? Building on what the full hybrid system does, the plug-in hybrid has larger batteries and even more power still. 
This one plugs into an external power source when available and what it provides is up to 46 miles of travel on the electric motor alone. So whether it's a commute of less than 46 miles a day or you're travelling across a city with zero or low emission zones, there's no need to trouble your petrol engine. You can consider this the equivalent to the thick coat, which apparently is why I'm wearing this really warm jacket under these hot lights. So there you have it, a very non-scientific explanation of hybrid technology within Suzuki. I do hope you found this useful. When you look at a hybrid vehicle, it's not about what the system is, but what the system does for you. You've also seen why here at Suzuki, we don't just offer hybrid for some, we offer hybrid for all. Take a look at these videos to learn more about some of the other things that we do. And if you really want to know more, then please contact your local Suzuki dealer, and you can find them here. Thank you for letting me share just a few of our favorite things about Suzuki Hybrid. Now, I'm off for a shower, and to get a new agent.